what's up family it's your girl's kid got kicks um i couldn't get too far into 2017 without giving you guys my top 10 of 2016 so that's what this vi this video is about um this was hard it's actually like my second time doing this um and i'm sure there's probably gonna be some kicks that um i forgot about that i'm like oh crap i should have put that in so i got a few honorable mentions as we get through the list but let's get right into it so coming in at number 10 this shoe um it surprised me how much i liked it um i actually initially passed on it and my husband wanted me to have it because there was like a Valentine's Day theme or whatever. Um, and that is the Vivid Pink 12s. Uh, you guys know. So I'm more of a red girl. Um, so initially I was like, nah, I'm, I'm good. Um, but I'm really happy I had these. They were really cute and I like to wear them um, around. Number nine. Another OG colorway. We're going to be a lot of OG colorways. So um, this one is the Black Metallic 5s. Look at that 3M popping. Uh, slept on shoe. Nike here in the back. You know, I'm a sucker for OG. Uh, haven't worn these this pair yet. Um, and, uh, I, this one shocked me as well. So I was originally like, okay, you know, I'll copy it so I'll have an OG colorway, um, in my collection. I didn't think it would be something that I would really like, but I really, really, really love this shoe. Um, I love rocking it. Uh, coming in at number eight. Ooh, this probably should be a little higher, but uh you got your shattered backboard uh 2.0 um so the ones did not release in grade school sizes um i have worn these once um and so when these came out i remember the homie sneakerhead nation was like hey skip you gonna you gonna cop these boys and i was like man unless the leather quality is on point i'm not getting them um and i took a chance and copped them thinking i'll probably return them because they're probably gonna play us with the generic grade school quality leather and my girl Miss Soul Amazing on IG hit me up like, no, actually, the leather is decent on these boys. So I think for the men, they're probably disappointed because it's not as good as the 1.0s. But for grade school, this is by far like the best quality leather on an Air Jordan 1 that I've ever seen. So just had to make the top 10. Okay, uh, number seven. Sorry, my lighting is, is different. But uh, you got your Aris 11s. There you go. Um, yeah. This shoe. Um, so I actually have the 1s and the 11s. Um, I took the 1s back. Uh, since the, I knew the 11s were going to be going to cost me more. Um, I took the 1s back and I kept the 11s. And I like the I like the 11s better than the 1s. Um, I like the placing placement of the um, velvet. Um, and I just like the the hints of gold instead of the big gold swoosh. So this one definitely made my top 10. Um, I still haven't worn it yet. Um, still DS, but um, just made it. All right, number six, another OG, Wu Games. Um, still haven't worn these yet either. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to see that they did us right um, from a grade school perspective with the quality of the leather. Not like amazing quality, um, but again, compared to the men's, it was close enough. So that that's always how I judge it. Like, you know, because most of the time they give, they play us compared to the men's. And it was it was fairly close. So um, I was happy, happy about that. And uh, can't go wrong with an OG black and red shoe. That's just amazing. All right. Top five. Space Jams. Or should I say black concord or playoff uh 11s um y'all check out uh jumpman bostic's uh review on this it was excellent and informative about you know this shoe especially compared to the space jam um and what the differences are and what you know how and why we have this shoe why it has a 45 on the back all of that but um this is another one that surprised me because originally i was like eh I'm going to get it just because I feel like I need to have it in my collection, but eh, whatever. Um, but this was beautiful. I love that you can see the white um, around the, the patent leather and the mud guard. Um, <laughs> dope shoe. Happy to have it. Number four. Um, not everything in here is Jordan. So coming in at number four, I got my black uh, gradient ultra boost. These things are actually kind of dirty because I wear them all the time. When you talk about comfort... Um, so I try to be like anti hype beast. So I don't own, own a pair of Yeezys really because I just don't like it. But I also kind of try not to fall into like all the hype. Um, but when I had a chance to cop these, um, I had some uh, discount codes and, you know, uh, full locker gift cards and stuff like that. I had a chance to cop these on the retail. I went for it. And all I can say is when you try them on, 
it will change your life. Um, I understand why people try to say like boost his life and everything like that because this is just uh, unreal. Um, amazingly comfortable. Most comfortable shoe I, I've ever owned. Uh, number three. I still got to post a review for these. Um, this shoe is special for a couple of reasons. You got your Dornbecker 7. Um, first pair of Dornbeckers that I've owned. Um, and, you know, great cause, man, great cause. So, you know, if you guys don't know, uh, look it up. But the idea is that Nike and Jordan brand have kind of, you know, uh, work with uh, children who are battling illnesses, um, life-threatening diseases and illnesses, and give them an opportunity to design a shoe. Um, and this one was de designed by Damian Phillips, um, Air Jordan 7. It is so dope. Check out the bottom. Um, it actually reads, when you put both of the shoes together, it reads super explosive. Sick shoe. And I love 7s. Seven. 7s hold a, a special place in my heart because um, it was they're the first like numbered Jordan that I ever purchased, um, that I ever owned. So these are, these are crazy. So it's number three. Number two is a shoe that actually did not release this year. Um, I actually have been waiting for it, um, basically stalking this shoe, man, trying to get it uh, for a reasonable price, and uh, finally, finally, finally got it. I actually, um, I had them in cart on Flight Club, but I actually checked out, and they sent me a note like, oops, sorry, we don't have a shoe, so I had to give my money back, and I uh, finally on eBay uh, for a great price, Playoff A's. This is number two, so this just going to show you how, uh, how much I like this shoe crazy i've been stalking it patience does pay off uh, and my, my homie angels retro uh, always says that but it's true um patience paid off for me and these i was able to cop this and this is definitely one of my um, top shoes i picked up in 2016 and then uh number one um first shoe i doubled up on um, I didn't understand when people, and there's a lot of issues, um, people talk about like the grade school quality of the leather and stuff like that. And they're right. We don't get high quality leather, but I didn't even care. Um, and that's the bread ones or band ones. Shoe, I wear the heck out of this shoe. I got two pair. I'm glad I do because I wear this a lot. Red is my favorite color. I love wearing this shoe. It's true. You can throw it on with just about anything. You just can't go wrong walking around with a pair of these on. Um, and so this was my number one pickup of 2016. I'm so happy to have it. Glad I got two pair. I'm um, going to look down, you know, 10 years from now and still have a, a pair that's going to be crispy because um, I love this shoe. And I would not mind at all if Jordan Brand, you know, released these more frequently. You want to release, you know, every couple years, every three years, you want to re release these breads. Good with me. So let's get into honorable mention. Um, most of these are OG colorways just because, like I said, I'm a sucker for OG. Um, but I had kind of love-hate relationships with some of them. So start off with the uh, White Cement Forest. I know this is like number one in a lot of people's books. Uh, for me, um, I had to go through a couple of sizes with this shoe. Uh, so I tried them in a four and a half and it just never quite fit right. So I actually ended up having to sell that pair and find a pair in a size five. Um, so I had to go up a uh, half a size and they, they work for me. Um, so this pair is actually dead stock. I sold my other pair, but um, you know, sucker for OG, get your Nike Air on the back. Even though gray school got played, you know, in a couple places and the just the design of the silhouette, but I can go on and on for that, for days for that. Um, and then another OG colorway that just recently released. You got your nines, the Space Jam nines. Or Chicago Nines, whatever you want to call them. Um, sucker for the OG. This is probably, this may end up being the only uh, pair of Nines that I own. There are a couple other ones that I might want, but I was very, I literally, I bought the Statue Nines and then I actually ended up selling them. And I remember thinking, man, I hope that they release these soon so I can have a pair of Nines in my collection. And lo and behold, they released them in 2016. Last of the OG colorways for honorable mention is, uh, there you go. True blue threes. Um, you know, people, you know, were upset about the quality and everything like that. I even had a little mini rant about mine being ashy, which they are. And then you see the tongue straight from Nike, you know, only retail pairs here, but <laughs> it is what it is. Great food get played. Um, but I still am happy to have it. OG colorway. I think it's going to look really, really nice with a lot of things I'll be able to wear. So happy to have it in my collection. It gets honorable mention. And then last but not least, man, these boys, woo! I was so geeked that they released these in grade school sizes, man. Um, 
these are the only shoes in the kind of champ championship um, cigar whatever pack that we got, and it was the Trophy Eight. Look at that reflection you can see, man. It's crazy, insane. Still haven't worn these yet. I'm kind of waiting for the right occasion, um, but honorable mention goes to these because they are sick. This is one shoe. It probably could have been easily like number ten, but um. It is what it is. So there it goes. Um, I owe you guys some reviews. I owe you a review on my Dornbecker 7s. That's coming. And uh, welcome to 2017. You know, we're going to try to do some things differently with this channel. Um, again, the purpose for this is not for me to get famous. It's not for me to get rich. It's for me to have informative and entertaining reviews for people who are interested in grade school size kicks. Whether that's kids, whether that's women, whether that's men, whatever it is. If you want to learn about grade school kicks, that's the reason why I do I have this channel um, and I enjoy it so I'm gonna try to step it up with the quality of the videos the lighting I got some studio lights all that stuff I'm waiting on the other one one broke whatever but stay tuned um, best wishes in 2017 for everybody and uh, look out for the next review y'all peace